A man whose name became synonymous with black militancy in the 1960s was shot to death early this morning in Oakland, California. Huey Newton, a co-founder of the Black Panther Party, had been shot several times. He was 47. Here's ABC's Brian Rooney. Newton's body was found before dawn in a pool of blood on a West Oakland sidewalk. Police said he had three bullet wounds in the head. Newton's wife's car was parked and locked just 30 feet away. The former radical died miles from his own home in a troubled neighborhood where drug deals and gunshots are common. He was a hero figure in our eyes, you know, some, something to look up to. And it's just, like I said, sad that he was reduced to being slain in the streets of West Oakland. Huey Newton sprang to national prominence in 1966 as one of the founders of the Black Panther Party in Oakland. Openly and legally armed with rifles and shotguns, Panthers followed Oakland police officers on patrol to enforce fair treatment of black people on the city streets. Now the people have been enslaved too many years. The chains must be removed, so help us God. The Panther philosophy was that black Americans could legally defend themselves against oppression. If you had a knack of taking civil disobedience and putting it on the cutting edge, Several Panthers went to prison, and the group said 28 members died in confrontations with police. The rest went on to other things. Bobby Seale recently wrote a cookbook. But Huey Newton spent time in jail for possession of drug paraphernalia and embezzling money from an Oakland community school. The man who once brought food to children stole from them. Police haven't said who killed Huey Newton or why. Brian Rooney, ABC News, San Francisco.